Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I want to show you something new that's just come out and that is a set of colour profiles for pictorial. Now these are for people with Fuji cameras and it's long been requested to have some way of matching the Fuji film simulation modes and pictorial have come out with a, a plug-in of sorts which gives you all the normal film simulations so everything from Provia to Velvia to uh, classic chrome and so on um, the pack is available from pictorial's website um, I'll have details in the description below and also on the accompanying blog post that goes with this but for now I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like and how it works it seems to be pretty good from what I've been playing with and it seems fairly accurate it gives you all the different film simulation modes and certainly a useful add-on if you're a Fuji shooter so uh, let me just go through a few things and give you an idea so let me start by just but um, picking a few images so I have just this flower here it's nothing particularly great so this is how it would have come in normally. This is with no color profile applied. But if I go down here into the develop section, so this right down at the bottom of the interface, and once you have the pack installed, you should see all the different profiles. So you can see here we have Velvia, Provia, and so on. So if I switch this to Provia, that is pretty much how I shot it because I did shoot this with Provia at the time and, and that looks to me the way it would have been. I can also go to say Velvia and again that looks fairly accurate to me and again we have things like Acros which will give you the nice black and white um, Pronag High or even Classic Chrome so I'll switch back to Provia for this one because that's what I shot with so let's take another image for example so again, this B image, and if you've been following my blog, I've used this a few times recently for different things. So again, I've already set this to Provia, but let's just try a few different ones. So we can go Valvia, um, or let's say Astia, for example. If I go to Proneg Standard, that'll give me a little bit less contrast. Or Proneg High. Um, so again, these images, so here is just a normal one and then I will go again I think I shot this with Provia and to me that looks accurate and maybe let's just try Velvia on this and that's a nice look and then of course we can tweak and have the image to how we want it okay let's just look at another example so over here I shot this originally using um, Acros in the camera so let's just try the Acros and see what that looks like and it actually has all the filter modes as well, so you've got the yellow, red, and green. But to me that looks accurate again. Um, it's probably not going to be 100% exactly the same as you would get at the camera, because uh, for a number of reasons, first of all you might have different custom settings set in the camera. Um, so for example if you have the shadow tone and uh, or the highlight tones modified, you will get different results. But having said that, it seems to work quite well. Um, let me just look at one more image. So again, this was shot on Provia, I think. I usually shoot on Provia in the camera as a default. So let me just try Classic Chrome just to try something. Also, no, I'm not doing any sharpening on these either. I don't think it needs it. Um, but if you do want to sharpen in Pictorial, um, if you're confused about how that works, go over to Retouch and then go to Sharpen. Um, the, in the latest version, the defaults are actually pretty fine for most stuff, so it's based on selective sharpening, but if you want to sharpen the whole image, you just need to fill it. So you just hit that, and that will fill it. And as you can see, now it's very sharp, and um, you probably don't even need that much, so turn that back down just a little bit. In fact, in this image, I think you only need a tiny bit. I like this image as well, so I'm just going to go with Provia on this, which is again what I shot with. Need to bring in the highlights a bit to bring the flower back in. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I've tried this a few times and it looks pretty good to me. Um, I haven't done extensive testing with it because uh, I've been too busy, but um, based on what I'm seeing, it looks pretty good. And uh, if you want to find out more, I'll have the links below. And uh, I hope you found this useful. And um, people have been asking me about this software a lot lately, so I will try and get to cover it a bit more in the future. And I want to thank you again for uh, watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. 
um, and subscribe to my channel and if you want more extra content and more behind the scenes stuff then f subscribe to me on Patreon for added extras and uh, you'll also help me support the channel and my blog. Okay and thank you very much and we'll talk to you next time.